Meghan Markle's tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey doesn't sit well after the Duchess launched a legal campaign against the Daily Mail for invading her privacy. A royal expert has claimed that Meghan Markle was not looking for privacy following her dramatic departure from the royal family, but was instead waiting for her privacy-related court case to conclude before re-entering the spotlight. The Duchess of Sussex brought a copyright claim against the Mail on Sunday after they published extracts of her private letter, but shortly afterwards appeared in a tell-all Oprah Winfrey interview with her husband Prince Harry. Speaking to Royal Elias about Meghan's claim that her Oprah interview was cathartic, expert Jonathan Sacerdotti said, I have to say, that bit stuck out to me. So they said they waited for the timing because of the court case with the mail, and of course that court case with the mail was all about one of the things that we hear from them a lot, that they feel their privacy is invaded and intruded upon. That was about a letter that Meghan Markle's estranged father had and he released to the paper some of the words that she had said in the letter, and she then made a copyright claim against the newspaper for publishing it. Now that's fine, that kind of squares with their image of wanting privacy and wanting the press to go away but then they waited until that court case was finished and the very moment it was, they decided to go and do this massive interview that was then televised around the world. Those two things don't really sit well together for me and for loads of people. That's not someone looking for privacy, that's someone waiting for their privacy-related court case to end and then jumping straight back into the spotlight. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry sat down with US chat show host Oprah Winfrey for a two-hour bombshell interview that was aired on CBS on March 7, 2021. During the wide-ranging interview, the couple detailed their reasons for leaving the royal family and spoke about their strained relationship with Buckingham Palace. Allegations included the royal family ignoring Meghan's mental health to the point where she felt suicidal and palace officials refusing to correct damaging tabloid articles that vilified the Duchess. Prince Harry said he felt really let down by his father Prince Charles, and said that his family had refused to take a stance against the racist undertones that were present in the British media. The most damaging accusation however, was that an unnamed member of the royal family had made a racist remark about the skin tone of their unborn child. The interview caused a PR crisis for Buckingham Palace and prompted Prince William to respond, We are very much not a racist family. Since leaving the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan have also signed a number of multi-million pound deals with streaming giants Netflix and Spotify, and the Duke is due to release his memoir in 2022. Their interview with Oprah Winfrey came shortly after Meghan's victory in February against the Mail on Sunday in a highly disputed privacy and copyright case. In February 2019, the Mail on Sunday published a series of extracts from a private letter that the Duchess had written to her estranged father, Thomas Markle. In the weeks leading up to the royal wedding in May 2018, the Duchess had fallen out with her father, after it emerged he had collaborated with the paparazzi for a series of staged photographs. He later sold extracts of her private letter to the Mail on Sunday. Meghan Markle sued ANL stating that the publication of the articles had misused her private information, infringed her copyright and breached the Data Protection Act.